Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Homestead Quest. My name's Amanda, and today's a very exciting day because I'm gonna be installing our honeybees into our hive. So come along with me today and I'll show you how. So first we need to get our hive prepped for our bees. So we're gonna disassemble it. And the queen is going to go in between the third and the fourth frame. So we're gonna want to remove these frames first to make room. So at this point, we need our hive tool, a screw, a little marshmallow, and something big enough to cover the hole that's gonna appear after we remove the feeder can. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the feeder can so I have my cover set and ready to go. So we're just going to take our hive tool and pry it out. And then as we take this out, we're going to slide this over so that no bees escape, or at least not too many. So now I'm going to focus on getting the queen out, which is this tab. So I'm going to pull it over and slide this to the side as I go. And the queen is gonna be in here. And first we just toss them into the hive like that. So this is the queen, she's good and healthy, she's alive. So now we need to get this cork out and we're gonna plug this cork with this little marshmallow. It will keep her in and then the worker bees will eat her way out after a few hours. Kind of like a wine bottle opener. Oh, oh. Then you plug the hole with the marshmallow. With the screen facing outwards and not this way because you don't want to block her in. You just drape her over the side. And now we're gonna be ready for the serious part, which is getting the rest of the bees into the hive. All right, so this is the bigger, more serious part. We're gonna get the rest of the bee colony into the hive with the queen. So I'm gonna be removing the top, flipping it over, and shaking the bees inside. So it's okay if not all of them go in. You want to put your box by the entrance, they'll go in, and at this point is when we put our frames back. So very gently, we just slide our frames right on top. And just be gentle so that you don't harm any of the workers. All right, at this point, the ones that got left in the box are gonna work it out and make their way into the hive. Right now, they're just kind of figuring it out, finding the queen and eat through that marshmallow. And they should all be good and settled in the next few hours. So at this point, I'm gonna reopen the hive and put the sugar water in the inline feeder. They need sugar water fed to them in early spring when you first put them in the hive because there's not enough flowers to sustain them. So. We need to put this in their inline feeder. We'll close them up and then we're gonna leave them alone and let them settle in the hive. Well, that was really exciting and eventful. Um, Mason was filming and he actually got stung, unfortunately. Um, I didn't get stung once, but I had the gear on. Uh, he's okay, but it kind of got um, 
a little bit exciting there for a second. So I did go in um, with a smoker um, just to calm them down a little bit. I'm gonna explain um, how a hive works to you guys really quick. So this part of the hive is called a deep. And the deeps are essentially where the queen lays her eggs and where you get your bee population from and the honey that is collected for the deeps, that is honey just for the bees. So I went with two deeps and two supers this year. So as of right now, I don't need this extra deep and it's not time for the supers yet. So essentially your deep boxes are for your bees. This is where they're going to collect honey for the larva that the queen's gonna lay. And that is just their zone, their area. So when that first deep gets filled with comb, that's when it's gonna be, that's a signal to me that it's time to add the second deep. The reason I went with a second deep is because lack of space is what causes honeybees to swarm. So I wanted an extra deep just to make sure that they had all the space they needed when they outgrow the first deep. So once they then start to outgrow the second deep when I stack it on top of the first, that's when I put this screen on top of the top deep and that is the queen excluder. So essentially the worker bees can fit through the screen but the queen can't. So that way honey without larva ends up in the supers and that ends up being honey for you then. So as the hive starts to grow and comb start to form that's when we start to stack and that's how the hive works. So as you could see, I added the sugar water that came with them into their um, feeder. When they calm down a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the hive and open it up and then add some of my own homemade um, sugar and water mixture. That inline feeder needs to be filled at least halfway. So like I said, I'm just gonna wait for them to calm down a little bit, hit them with some of the smoke and then fill their feeder up halfway the way that it needs to be. So the sugar and water solution that you put in the inline feeders, this only happens in the early spring when they don't have the proper amount of flowers for them to go put, collect the pollen and the nectar that they need to create honey. So you have to go ahead and feed them yourselves in the inline feeder for a few weeks. Um, all it is is equal parts um, sugar to water. You just dissolve the sugar in some warm water and then you fill it halfway um, full in the inline feeder. So so I'm back in my garage. I'm just kind of collecting myself, letting them calm down a little bit. That was very exciting. They're all kind of just figuring it out. Um, I have some bees that are maybe like 15 feet in the air, but most of them are tr just trying to figure it out and get into the hive and find the queen. Today was a very fun and exciting day. I'm so happy to finally have bees in the hive. They're still kind of out there just working it out. I did end up getting stung once. I went over there to, just to make sure everything was lined up and good and I didn't realize that um, when I walked over and took my veil off that I had one of the honeybees stuck in my hair. So I came inside, took a seat, and then got stung in the neck. Um, it hurt pretty bad at first but it, it wore off and I only got stung once. So Mason and I both got stung. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed watching us install our honeybees for the very first time. Thank you guys again for watching today. My name's Amanda. This is The Homestead Quest.